Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you may know, um, I posted this like all on my Instagram and everything. These lights are so bright. But a lot of you uh, may know that on my Instagram, um, something super exciting happened. <laughs> so the brand Kiba. Kiba was eating all of the cords. So I'm just gonna hold him while I'm doing the intro to this video. Anyway, um, a lot of you may know that the brand uh, B Tan, they make a lot of like tanning uh, products. They actually reached out to me. I tried their, what is it? I want the darkest tan possible, um, self tanning mousse. Loved it, posted all about it on my Instagram story. So because of that, they actually reached out to me um, and they wanted to collaborate with me. So they sent me like one of their newer products. It's called the um, Two Tan to Give a Damn uh, self tanning mousse. They also sent me their, that hot out the oven tanning mitt it's like the tanning mitt but it has like flowers all over it um so they sent me both of those to try out ah! my cat's a jerk but they sent me those to try out um i've made like a tiktok a reel on instagram i've posted about it on my story um and my instagram so at this point all that's left really is like maybe something else on my instagram story and then obviously a youtube video so I'm going to kind of like run you guys through the whole process of like how I apply this and honestly how I've just been applying self tanner for quite some time now. So step number one, um, I'm going to take a shower, but I'm not going to take you guys on that journey. <laughs> so while in the shower, I am going to exfoliate everything and shave. Um, I to exfoliate, I just use like my Dove body wash and I actually just recently bought um, a loofah from Axe. <laughs> It's like it's a guy's loofah, but it has like a handle on it, which I really enjoy um, So I'm just going to exfoliate first and then shave um, And then I will tune back in with you guys All right So let me just show you guys kind of like what my skin looks like right now in different lighting I feel like my bathroom can kind of have like a little bit more yellowy lighting um, So this is my skin currently this is like the before and I'll show you guys kind of how they look after Okay, so I've always been really paranoid to film a tanning like process video um because you know you don't have clothes on so under this towel there's nothing and i'm really nervous <laughs> this is gonna come off even though i can edit it out it's awkward all right so i just got out of the shower quite obviously um i shaved and exfoliated let me just show you guys what products i use for that okay so i started out by um exfoliating first and like i said i used the axe um little loofah here i really like that one because it has like a handle on it so you can actually like grip it um and i just use the dove refreshing cucumber and green tea body wash right here i feel like it smells really good and it like moisturizes your skin really well so exfoliate and then shave don't shave and then exfoliate because if you shave and there's like tiny little cuts that you didn't even know were there um, if you go back over those with your loofah or body scrub it's gonna burn it's not fun <laughs> so I'm also going to kind of start you guys off with a tip that I don't think you ever would have guessed that you would be getting during a tanning video <laughs> so if you're fresh out of the shower getting ready to self tan go to the bathroom first don't self tan and then go to the bathroom trust me <laughs> I feel like I'm very like I know quite a bit about self tanners because I've tried a lot um, you don't want a toilet bowl ring around the back of your thighs because it's not it's not a look make sure you get out of the shower go to the bathroom and then go and tan <laughs> all right step two take off your jewelry um obviously earrings are fine that's not a big deal um i always take off all of my rings even this one i'll just put it back on when i'm done um i'm leaving one bracelet on my wrist because it has like a weird clasp on it uh and i don't want to have to fuss with it afterwards all right so jewelry is all off except for you know earrings this one bracelet and i did leave my anklets on because i hate trying to get them on and off <laughs> okay so the first step that i have been doing with all of this type of stuff is like i feel like for the longest time i had such a difficult time with tanner on my feet and my hands because you always end up getting like splotches and it just kind of like looks a little funky um so i finally figured out like a pretty pretty surefire way that it's going to kind of turn out more natural um, than what I was doing in the beginning. So I am going to use just a little bit of moisturizer on my face. I'm not going to use like a super thick layer because the self tanner will actually not like go into the skin as well when there is like 
lotion everywhere. Um, so I'm just going to use the Bliss Bright Idea Vitamin C and Pro Collagen um, Moisturizer right here. I've been using this one for a while. It's almost empty um, and it's a really good one. So I'm just going to put this on my face and kind of blend it down um, my neck area. I feel like applying a moisturizer to your face, um, I don't, oh no, my nightmare is coming alive. I feel like normally I don't like to do like a whole bunch of moisturizer like all over my body because the self tanner actually will not like penetrate and be as dark um but i do in some places like to moisturize which i will get to but on your face um i feel like it kind of it kind of helps to make sure that you're not getting like a whole bunch of crazy patchiness like on your chin and like any any drier spots um so i definitely like to do like a moisturizer and a thin coat on my face before self tanning okay so next i'm going to grab the nivea um essentially enriched body lotion this is like literally one of the best lotions i want to say that like the first time i heard about like how good this was was in one of desi perkins videos she loved this for like glowy skin it's a really good one it's really really moisturizing um and this is a value size it's literally humongous like it's lasted forever <laughs> so all i like to do with this one is i'll get just like a little bit and i will put this on my feet and i'll just lightly blend it up to my ankles um you kind of want to like feather it up you don't want any like harsh lines because the self tanner i feel like will kind of like pick up on that so I'm just going to go ahead and slather this all over my feet real quick. I'm like really kind of like getting it between my toes, like the creases on my toes everywhere. Like you don't, you really want to make sure that your feet are super moisturized because they are like really dry normally. Um, so this kind of, again, like I said, kind of acts as a barrier to kind of like make sure that the self tanner doesn't like get all patchy and weird. I swear my husband used to get onto me and say that I shed like a dog. Since we have moved in together, his hair is everywhere, okay? I'm just trying to put lotion on my foot, and there's like 10 little curls just like all over it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, and like I said, just kind of like lightly blend it up your ankle. So then what I like to do is with whatever like tiny, tiny little bit is left on your hands, I'm talking like... You don't even want to get any more from the bottle. You only want just a smidge. You want to kind of just like blend it kind of slightly on your knees. It's literally going to feel like you're not doing much. <laughs> but trust me, just that smidge bit of lotion is going to make sure that there's no like huge patchiness on your knees. Um, I feel like your knees and your elbows can tend to get like, like you can pick up on the pigment a little bit more and make them like darker than the rest of your body. So this kind of like just helps to not do that. But like I said, don't get any more from the bottle because if you get too much, then you'll end up with like a giant white patch on your knee, which is like the exact opposite of like, you kind of want that sweet spot in the middle. <laughs> okay, so then after that, I'm just going to get a little bit more of that Nivea lotion and I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over my hands. Um, again, your hands, I feel like are another spot that, you know, the little creases and everything can kind of like pick up on that self tanner and I'm just lightly blending it into my wrists here. I feel like a big issue was kind of like, through here, like where this crease is, um, I used to get like really bad, like little lines through here. Um, and since I've been doing this, it seems to have like helped a lot. Okay, so then after like all of those spots are really like moisturized real well and kind of like just faded blended, um, I know that this is like a B tan um, video, but there is one product that I like to use that's like a self tanner um, for my feet and my hands that is not B tan. Um, it's, it's a lotion, that's why I like it. So I'll go back to the Nivea right here. I know that we already moisturized, but you just wanna get like a little bit of this, like a little pump. And then I'm going to take the Josie Marin um, Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter Tan Extender. The first time I used this, I did not realize that there was any pigment to it. Um, it literally says, apply evenly to body between weekly argan liquid gold self tanning oil applications. Can be used alone to extend color from natural sun for best results, exfoliate prior to applying the tanning oil and shower in between use of tanning oil and tan extender. So like, I guess I should have just like guessed that it was slightly pigmented, but like when I used it for some reason, I thought it was just like a good moisturizer to kind of like use between self tanning. Um, it's not, it has pigment to it. And the way that I used it, I specifically remember having streaks. <laughs> So just be careful with that. But you have the Nivea in your hand and then you also want to get a pump of this and just mix it into the Nivea. I know that this is probably weird. I've not seen this done before. But what it does is I feel like it kind of like, I get a toothpick or this is 
not a toothpick. Don't use this in your teeth. I'll get a Q-tip, not a toothpick, and I'll just kind of like mix the two together. Um, I feel like basically what this does is it allows the color of the tan extender to like still be in there, but because it's mixed with the lotion, it kind of somewhat dilutes it a little bit um, to where like, I don't know, I just, I just feel like it doesn't, it's not as harsh of a color when you mix it with a little bit of um, like a lotion. So then what I do with this little mixture is this, I do the same thing that I did with Nivea um, and I will just kind of like put it all over my feet in between my toes, really, really like moisturize, get it in there um, and I'll kind of like blend it over kind of the sides of my feet, not onto the soles of my feet because who's going to be looking at that? Um, and then again, gently just kind of like blend it up into your ankle. All right, I'm gonna try this without showing my Tupperware. So I just get like a little bit on my hand right here. And I'll like kind of mainly focus this product like on kind of the top of my foot and then just lightly blend it around like into your toes and stuff. I tried <laughs> just now <laughs> to angle my camera to kind of show you guys exactly what I'm doing because I really, I like I want to show you guys exactly what's happening. Um, but when I did it, my camera fell to the ground and I screamed a little bit because I thought that it was gonna break. So, not gonna be able to do that, sorry. And like really, really kind of like push it into the skin. Don't like, like really make sure to spread it out because um, any bit that is not rubbed in could potentially do like dark spots on your feet. So what I do with the leftover right here is I will actually just kind of focus that on the backs of my hands and I'll just kind of rub it in. Focusing it mainly on the backs of the hands because obviously like you don't want your palms to be super dark That's not like a thing that happens Naturally very much <laughs> and again just like lightly blend it kind of into your wrist right here So then after this what I'll do is I'll literally just kind of like dab my my Palms like on my towel or something right here because like I said You don't want a whole bunch of that to be left on your palms because it will like kind of change the color of your your palms And that's kind of like not super natural <laughs> Okay so now I'm going to go ahead and do my face, which I'm actually going to go ahead and put my hair up um, for this just because I don't, it, it's just a hassle trying to fight against your hair and it's honestly super uncomfortable to have your wet hair like all up in the self tanner, not like it's going to do anything to it. Um, it's just like incredibly uncomfortable on your back. <laughs> okay, got our cute little top knot there. <laughs> So the first time that I had actually used the B-Tan um, to tan to give a damn self tanner here, I actually used the tanning mitt on my face, um, which worked really well, but because I have used it like on my body now, I don't really want to now use it on my face. <laughs> so instead of the actual tanning mitt, I'm actually going to use a brush to apply it to my face. And I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Wall, Wall, wand ball powder brush number eight it's just this fluffy guy right here um and i'm going to i've never this this one part this i've not done before so we're doing this together here okay so i'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out onto this brush here I'm not gonna go too crazy with it and then i'm just gonna start to kind of blend it onto my face and this is <laughs> this is gonna look gray when you first do it okay so just be aware that it will look gray it is the color guide though just keep keep blending. Do not leave it like this. Did anyone actually watch that like my skincare video that I did probably like two years ago now? That's what I feel like I look like right now. My little thumbnail that I made. <laughs> if you don't want to use like a brush, if this is like not your jam, you might just want to go ahead and get like a second mitt um, and then just keep that one kind of like for your face and just like make sure to wash it really good um, and don't use it on your body. I've actually seen people use this also to kind of like make it look like a natural contour on their face. Um, they'll get like a some type of fluffy kind of makeup brush similar to this um, and they'll literally like contour using this so that when it sets it kind of like looks like you have a natural contour. Also make sure to blend it into your hairline and kind of like don't like you don't have to get all up in your ears but just make sure to blend it because again that's going to cause lines um, and if you don't blend, blend it into your hairline it's gonna look like incredibly fake. <laughs> Again, it's not going to do anything to your hair. The only reason I put my hair up is just because it's uncomfortable. And then just blending it down around here. 
here. Okay, so now we're just going to, I look real weird right now, okay? I promise the rest of my body is gonna match this like gray face right now. So now we're just gonna dive right into the actual self tanning process. Um, again, I'm using the That Hot Out The Oven Tanning Mitt right here. It's super cute, it has these little flowers on it. Um, they do have just like a regular black one um, and I think that, I think they just have that one and then this one. Um, this one's no different than the black one. I just like that it has flowers on it. It's really pretty. <laughs> These are probably like some of my absolute favorite mitts that I've ever used, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you guys watched my James Reed tanning video that I posted like probably like a year or two, and a, two years ago, whatever, um, that was probably like one of my most viewed videos on my channel up to date. Um, but I was obsessed with the James Reed tanning mitt, which I still totally am. Um, the only thing is, is that this one feels very, very similar to the James Reed tanning mitt. It has like that same softness, but this one has like a thumb slot. So therefore, like, I feel like one of the issues with like any of these other tanning mitts, um, they could feel awesome, but it's like you're trying to apply it and it's like twisting <laughs> all around on your hand and it's like hard to kind of like grip almost. Whereas this one, it, it's... It's literally like a like a an oven mitt like that's what this one is based off of <laughs> so uh, for this part once I start actually like diving into like my whole body here um, usually what I like to do is I like to do my back first so either you know either you do it yourself get your husband to do it I've, I've had Preston do it many times because I just don't feel like reaching into the center of my back <laughs> Um, but most of the time I just kind of like become a contortionist and just kind of like get that center spot of my back very like the very first thing if you wait to do it and you're the one that's doing it on yourself you actually can end up like because you have to kind of like reach all over the place to kind of like reach everything um, you can actually like if you have tanning stuff on your arm you can lay it across your skin um, and it can just kind of like cause lines and it can really like affect everything but if you do your back first, it like you're you're not really messing with it after that. Um, whereas if you do it like last, you're you're gonna end up messing everything else up. So do your back first, and then go ahead and like do the rest of everything. I'm gonna try to like film at least at least some part of my leg to kind of show you guys. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and like do mostly everything really quick, kind of off camera, um, and then I'll tune back in. Guys, I'm so sad where I tried to like angle my camera before to show you guys what I was doing. The darn, um, like the, the little camera hinge, it's bent now. So it doesn't all the way like close down, but whatever, it's still working. Anywho, so spread this on here. And what I do is I work in circles. So just blend in circles. It's a lot easier to blend out any lines that way um, than if you were to just kind of like go straight up and down. You're more likely to leave a streak on your skin if you're kind of like going up and down um, than if you do like around in circles because you really kind of end up blending everything out. So I just kind of do that and then once I get to my ankle area, um, I, with like barely anything even left on the mitt, I just kind of will lightly like just kind of feather it down onto the top of my foot and like around the edge. I don't go all the way to my toes because obviously we've already done that lotion um, so it's not really necessary. Um, but then I just kind of continue that. That's, that's basically what I do over my entire body is just do circles and it's best to work in like little sections. So just now like I did like kind of this whole front front side area of my calf here. Next I'll do kind of the inside and under bit and then my whole knee and behind it and then like I said just work in like tiny little sections. Um, it works better than to just kind of like go crazy with it all. Okay guys so I am all done tanning, done everything. Um, so basically what I did like as soon as I was done <laughs> is have you ever seen those like tall inflatable men that like are outside of car dealerships that are like <laughs> it's like that's what I feel like after like right after I tan because I'm just like sitting in here like fully naked like trying to dry my body <laughs> so I did that it's a it's a necessary step in the tanning process <laughs> So I did that until like my skin was like mostly good to go. Um, so then all I did is I just kind of put a big old baggy t-shirt. Um, my Nana made this one because she's the coolest. So if you're wondering. <laughs> and then I put just like some baggy sweats on. Um, one more tip. I, this is also TMI, but personally I do not wear <laughs> underwear after I tan. I will put on some baggy sweatpants because one too many times I have like put underwear on and then had lines. 
It's not cute and I don't like it. So baggy, everything, go commando for the night. <laughs> I usually do this late at night, I don't do it. Normally I don't do it early in the, earlier in the day. Um, so yeah, this is actually a like one hour self tanning mousse. So technically in like an hour you should be good to go. Um, I personally just like to leave it on longer because it like in the directions it literally says the longer you leave it on, um, you know, I think it's like four hours later it'll still even be darker. Um, so I do like to do that. A lot of the times I will actually even layer it again the next day. Um, with like no shower in between um, and then after that second time I'll kind of you know shower after that which the directions on this one I feel like not a lot of the self tanning things that I've used actually has like a step where you like have to go shower it off um, this one does say like after an hour you can go like shower um, again I personally just like to let it sit on for as long as I possibly can because I'm a ghost and I want to have at least a little bit of color to my skin. <laughs> um, the one thing that I will say is that um, if you leave it on for like any length of time, whatever, um, and you don't like shower, you don't exfoliate in between, um, you will kind of notice that in like each like little pore, there'll be kind of like little dark dots. Um, it's not a huge thing to me personally. I wear makeup on my face when I'm tan, so like that doesn't really show. Um, and on my body, it doesn't really like super bother me. Um, but if you're the type of person that is bothered by that, like I said, you can just like shower it off after at least an hour um, and that'll kind of take care of that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave this on for a while and I will probably kind of like do a little update later and kind of like show you the color change um, just tonight. Um, and then yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay guys, so it has been about six hours since I like did the whole tanning routine um, and you can like really really tell on my face that it is darker than it was earlier. Um, so here is kind of like the results just for tonight. I also really like to layer self tanners. Um, I never really just do like one coat and then I'm done. Um, I do like to layer them up just to kind of get like that really nice golden um, kind of bronze color. Earlier I did like a little before of my legs, but it was with like the natural lighting. Um, unfortunately it's dark outside right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to get as good of light as I can, but this is my legs now. So yeah guys, I used to like absolutely be obsessed with the Banana Boat self tanning lotion, the dark color. Um, absolutely loved it, it was my like absolute favorite. And it's from the drugstore, it's a little bit of nothing. Um, but I don't know why, but they ended up like somehow for whatever reason reformulating to where like there's no color guide so you can't see like where you're putting anything which can be really frustrating if you're like really new to self tanners um, personally like I said I've tried them so that wasn't like a huge thing for me but I felt like once it actually got on um, it just didn't make me as dark as it used to like it used to be like pretty significant like even after just the first coat it was like pretty significant color change um, and since they reformulated it just kind of doesn't do that and let me just say that banana boat one used to be my favorite like diehard favorite and now this two tan to give a damn by B tan is definitely my new fave also I wanted to throw this out there because I know a lot of people when it comes to self tanners are like little weird about the smell of self tanners um, personally, I feel like it's like really hard for me to kind of say anything about the smell of any of them um, because I just, I don't really mind it. Like it doesn't, it's never really bothered me. I feel like because, because I'm so pale, like any like smell of any of the self tanners just makes me like, oh, like, oh, I'm going to be tan. Yay. So like, I don't mind it at all. But I do know that some people are a little like touchy about that. I will say that this one, it's not like. It's not a super strong self tanning smell. It doesn't have like an actual really kind of nice scent to it. It definitely has that self tanner smell, um, but it's not like overpowering in any way. I just wanted to throw that out there because I know that that's kind of like a big thing with people. And then I guess just as kind of like my final thing in this video, if you want to try this or the tanning mitt or any of their other um, awesome products, use my code LindsayG20 um, and that will get you 20% off of your purchase. So that means that this bottle right here, the Two Tan to Give a Dan, it is normally $14.99. And after my 20% off coupon, it is going to be $11.99. So get you some good self tanner and save you some money. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, go to that website. I'll have them linked down below. Just scroll on down, click on the link, add some goodies to your bag, type in my code, and you're good to go. <laughs> 
All right, I hope you all have a great day, a great night, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.